Mr. Beast bought a whole neighborhood, which contains dozens of houses worth more than a $10 million overall, and Twitter tried to cancel Mr. Beast for doing that. The drama got so big that Jimmy and even his best friend Chris Tyson had to reply to the tweets that were trying to cancel him. So let me explain to you the whole story from the beginning. On the 9th of May, Mr. Beast purchased a whole neighborhood worth of houses. As Jimmy said, he did that for his staff and their families to live near his giant $20 million mega studio. The original post also says that the Nightborhood is located in the southeastern suburbs of Greenville, North Carolina, which is the exact place where Mr. Beast originally grew up. Mr. Beast is surely making this to make his employees spend more time working on his businesses and not spending much time driving to his office. But of course, Twitter did not like it. Since the original post went viral and got over 53 million views on it, Jimmy was already preparing to the hateful tweets. Because when you are the most famous YouTuber on the planet, people would always try to cancel you anytime. So after receiving lots of messages disliking Mr. Beast for that move, Jimmy finally responded. The original tweet was saying, what a nice man. Surely a CEO buying homes and creating neighborhoods for their employees' families has no historical relevance or background at all. Not Loki roasting Mr. Beast, comparing him to feudalism, and even saying that Jimmy makes people to join a cult. So after that, Mr. Beast replied by tweeting, Only I could get cancelled for giving people a place to live with no strings attached. All these company town tweets make no sense. I was just helping some people. His tweet already got over 75,000 likes. So the story has gone even more viral after that. Not only Mr. Beast commented this, even his best friend Chris Tyson replied to the tweet saying, Helping? That's it, Jimmy. That's the final straw. I'm moving out of the neighborhood. So basically, Mr. Beast is creating a first ever YouTube city. And I bet in 10 or 20 years, it's going to be the new Hollywood. But in Mr. Beast's version of it, people will not make a movies, but a YouTube videos. Let me know what you think in the comments on this drama, and I'll see you next time. See ya.